Hello everyone, how are we doing today? My name is Otis Grant. Sit down, I'd like to tell you a little bit about some of your American history that you probably doesn't even know exists. The Wild Mustang. Have you ever been driving through the desert and seen horses and wondered, wow, I wonder what they're doing out there. Whose are they? Well, odds are they're probably a wild Mustang. When the Spanish conquistadors came to explore the New Americas, they brought horses with them. These were a great part of transportation known for being small, rough and tough, and very hard feet. They were great for traveling through the steep country and rocks. But while they were here, many of them were able to escape or were left when the Spanish conquistadors went home, making it possible for the Native American Indians to also use them, and for the new settlers to use them when they come across the West. Now you might be thinking, what's the importance of this? Well, after the Model T was invented in 1908, there was no longer such a cause for these horses. They weren't being used like they used to be. There was an abundance of them, but their meat was still valuable. Many people would gather these horses up, take them to slaughter, sell them, and it was a decent side job. But they were doing this in a very cruel manner. A lady by the name of Wild Horse Annie saw what people were doing and said, this isn't right. She was going to do something about it. And she did. In the early 1970s, she packed it, passed an act that said you could no longer gather wild horses with your car or an airplane. Now you might be thinking, well, what's the importance of this? What, is there even a need for these Mustang horses anymore? Wouldn't this grass that they're eating be more valuably used for cattle? Well, this isn't necessarily true. You see, horses are still used today for activities such as rodeo, hunting, uh, camping, or just recreation. Now you can still own a piece of American history called the Wild Mustang, but you have to do it through the Bureau of Land Management sale. About four times a year they have them local here in Utah. You can go down to the sale, there'll be about 200 Wild Mustangs horse, horses there to pick from. You can pick one, bring it home, and train it. Now you must be thinking, these are Wild Mustangs, how am I going to do it? They actually have a tip program so that a more experienced trainer, such as myself, would train the horse for you so he is safe to be around. Now you might be thinking, well, is, are these horses very valuable? They're, in fact, they're very valuable. They have been traded amongst people for years. They were used in the Pony Express. These animals have sacrificed a lot over the years, and it is important that we keep these roaming the West for our children to see in the future years. Did you know that you can still go out to the West Desert and see them yourself? All these beautiful pictures you think, wow, it must be on someone's special ranch. In fact, it's not. You can still go out and get some pictures for yourself or even bring home a wild Mustang like I told you about earlier. In fact, in the late 1980s, my grandpa was able to meet Wild Horse Nanny. He was a part of the group called the Mustangers, which helped protect the local Mustangs in this area. Because people still like to break the law, and you could keep an eye out for them because they were hurting these horses. Now, I'd like to wrap this up now, but as a, if you'd ever like to go out and see a wild Mustang horse, you can do it in the West Desert near you. They're an important part of history, and I'd like to see them roam the hills for many years to come. Alright, have a good day everybody, and take it easy. Bye-bye.